Hi everybody, welcome back to another basic bash tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own files and folders using the command line using some basic bash commands. So last time we talked about how to change your directory so we can just go into the desktop like that. We talked about how to list files and we talked about how you can use a flag to get a little bit more information. One thing I forgot to mention is that you can also list files in a directory that is not your current directory by just typing the path to that directory, whether that path be absolute or relative, after the ls command and it will just list the files inside of wherever you want to, whatever that directory is. So today we're going to be talking about making your own directories and making your own files. So when you might think about making a directory or making a folder, remember a directory is the same thing as a folder, you might think about um, maybe clicking on some sort of button that says new folder and that will make a new folder for you or maybe you right click and you, check, uh, and you click new folder, so something like that. This is basic. I mean it's the same thing, it's the same operation, you're making a folder it's just suppose you were in an environment where you didn't have a graphical interface like that and you needed to do it from a command line you still wanted to keep all your files organized that's where knowing this is going to come in handy so the way that you make folders is really pretty simple all you do uh, well the command is mkdir it stands for make directory so then you just type the name of whatever you want your directory to be named so uh, I'll just make a hobbies directory. So make directory hobbies, hit enter, and now if we list uh, our folders and files, you'll see we have the hobbies directory uh, in our desktop folder now. So this directory acts the same as any other directory, so you can uh, go into it using the cd command like we talked about in the last video. Obviously there's not going to be anything in it right now because we just made it. But um, I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. I'm going to go back to the desktop using the dot dot shortcut that we talked about in the last video. So that's how you make folders. It's really pretty simple. There's uh, not much more to it. The only thing you should know is that you don't have to be making folders in your current directory. Uh, most commands work like this. Uh, you can either type a relative path name or a uh, absolute path name. So hobbies is sort of like a relative path name because we're basically saying hobbies we want to make that directory inside the desktop directory. Suppose we wanted to make a directory inside of a different directory. All you do is type the, the full absolute path name to where you want the directory to be located. So say I wanted to make one in the videos uh, in my home folder, the videos directory, and call that I don't know, I'll just, uh, I'll call it recordings or something. So that will go ahead and do that. I'll ls uh, in the user's videos directory to show you that, yes, it worked. Here's the recordings directory. So that's how you make your own directories. To make your own files is pretty much just as simple, but it's a little bit less intuitive. The only time that you really think about making your own files would be if you were already inside of an application like maybe a text editor and you were going to save a file then that's how you would create a file or maybe if you were going to download something that's another example of when you would create a file but on the command line all we're learning today is how to make uh, empty files so I'll show you how to edit these files in a later video but this is just to make your own empty files which is useful for a number of reasons but mostly it's just a command that you should be familiar with if you uh, want to get a basic understanding of how to use the command line. So the command is really simple. All it is is touch. T-O-U-C-H. I guess it's kind of like you're touching the file, like sort of like putting it down. I don't know. I don't totally understand the metaphor to be honest with you, but I don't know. It works, I guess. So you type touch and then you type the name of your file. So this could be anything. It could be file one it could be my file you could add an extension if you want to um, sort of specify what type of file it is so maybe you want to make a main.cpp or something or you want to make a I don't know a log.txt or you want to make theme.mp3 I mean keep in mind these are all totally empty files so the extension really doesn't mean anything 
uh, main.cpp and theme.mp3 are right now containing the same amount of data. But, I mean, it's just part of the name. It's just part of the name of your file, so it's really up to you, whatever you want to name it. Uh, remember that these are actually empty files. They don't take up any room, so you can make as many as you want. But you'll notice even now, if I list all the files, our output has gotten quite a bit longer. <laughs> it's almost doubled because we have uh, here all these files that we've made. File 1, log.txt, and so on. And if I use the F flag, you see that those are actually files and not directories. So that's pretty much it for this video. I've, uh, you, you've seen how to make your own directories and also how to make your own files. One thing I guess I should say is that you do not have to be making these files in your current directory. You could make them in a different directory by simply typing, again, the path to that directory and then the name of your file. So say you wanted to uh, go into the school directory and make like a, uh, I don't know, grades.txt, a file like that. You can go ahead and do that. Uh, and that path can either be an absolute path or a... Um, relative path like we just did. So that's it for this video. That's how you make directories and also how you make your own empty files. So thank you for watching. Next time we'll talk about how to move and rename and copy and delete these files and directories. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.